so relentless. I, uh, I actually looked up to see what the dictionary says that word means, and it says steady and persistent and unremitting, relentless like a drumbeat. And I thought, wow, that's a, certainly a word to describe um, the love that, that Jesus has um, just as who he is. But when I think about that in terms of my life, um, I think about years of just doing things a certain way, um, doing church and exhausting myself from working in the church and um, loyal in my relationships, in the most toxic of relationships to a fault. And uh, being about um, what I thought were really good things um, to the point that I uh, had no, no eagerness to do any of it. And um, I came across a scripture one time in Psalm chapter 139 that says, You hem me in behind and before you lay your hand on me. And it took my breath away. But just understanding that he was hemming me in, not because I was enough, but because he was enough. He was enough. A way that God's love has been relentless in my life is um, I'm very much of a planner and I like to know what's going to happen next in my life and there are just some times when that doesn't really work out and I don't really know what's coming next as early as I'd like um, and so I'll, I'll pray and I'll just listen and think and just go through my day just sort of trying to keep my mind open as to what's going to happen and, and sometimes I just I don't get what I'm looking for as soon as I would like but God always comes through and makes his will obvious it seems at like just the perfect time not necessarily what I would think is the perfect time or as soon as I would like to make myself feel better about it but always at the time that is needed and always at the time that makes everything that happens after that it work out the best uh, for his will and his glory and he's always been very faithful to me our sins are kind of like our enemies and we can run and run away from our enemies and it seems like as soon as we get over one trial, there's another trial right behind that. And we just, with all those things going on, we, get, we just get tired. Um, for God, it's the opposite. We can, we can never out -sin God's love. So all of our past problems, all of our sins, uh, that's nothing in the eyes of God. So He's always going to pursue us. Choose you, you are valuable. And so uh, relentless to me is God's love. It never stops. A friend of mine invited me to go to a Christian retreat called The Walk to Emmaus. And I didn't know anything about it, but I trusted my friend. And I went. And God was waiting for me on that weekend. And He totally revitalized my faith and taught me so many things, showed me. I thought my walk with God was what it was supposed to be. The problem was I was given a lot of lip service and I wasn't given a lot of heart service. From then on, my walk with God became real. Prayer became a priority. Bible study became a priority. And it was a relationship that I began to pursue with everything that I had. And with that, even though my marriage was gone, and right before the end of Christmas in 2011, I got diagnosed with MS and had to give up my job. God got me through all of that. He never gave up on me, although I gave up on Him and my church family. And I felt like they gave up on me, but they didn't. They were right there. Sometimes we don't know how to approach somebody when they're going through trouble, but we just need to, to pray for them and show them that we love them, and God will use that. Looking back on my life, there have been multiple times that I've just kind of put God on hold, put Him on the shelf, and pretty much decided to ignore Him while I did my own thing. And, um, you know, I, I look back on those times, and, and uh, I can see where and how God pursued me relentlessly with his love and, and put people in my path and, and just uh, set situations up to draw me back to him. And um, I've experienced that multiple times, just, just the process of kind of just ignoring God for a while and his constant pursuit and his constant uh, following me, trying to draw me back to himself. 
remember a couple years ago, several years now, ago now in college, and uh, taking my philosophy class, and uh, I uh, starting to learn about a lot of new things, and uh, I uh, started to think, well, maybe is this Christianity thing? Is it real, or is God real? And you know, I feel like I've experienced Him, but there's a whole lot of other ideas out there, and and so maybe I need to kind of think about those and consider those, and so. It was, it was really hard for me to deal with that for, for some reason. It seems kind of silly, but it was. And kind of through that time, uh, you know, I would pray God to show me something, and, and He would. He would over and over again. Yeah, God loves me, and I know that in the depths of my heart, for sure. Um, so, yeah.